For this hands-on exercise, I want you to create a map with a key of type string, which is a person's last underscore first name, and a value of type slice of string, let me make that big too, uh, which stores their favorite things. Store three records in your map, and I have a possible data set right here, which I'm gonna copy for you. Print out all of the values along with their index position in the slice. So pause the video right now, go do that uh, hands-on exercise in the GoLink Playground, and when you have finished, come back and restart this video, or un unpause this video so it continues playing. Because now, right now, I'm gonna show you the solution. So let's go to the GoLang Playground. And first thing I'm gonna do is create a map using a composite literal, so short declaration operator, map, and it's gonna have a key of string, and then a slice of string as the value, and then composite literal. So there is the type. We have the type, this is the type, and then we have the curly braces, and we put the values there. So that's a composite literal, the type, curly braces, put the value right there. So now I'm going to come down here and put in the values. And those values are gonna be like this. But I'll do it like, yeah, that's fine. I'll do it like that. Command V, and then this will be a colon. And then we need a slice of string and uh, that to make a new composite literal. And then it ends right here and a comma. And now we do the next one. And we have the key, colon, and then the value. And it's gonna be a slice of string. And Miss Moneypenny likes James Bond literature, computer science, because she is awesome. And then we're going to come here and we're going to do uh, Dr. No. And Dr. No likes being evil, ice cream, and sunsets. He's actually a fascinating guy, aside from that being evil part. He's got some uh, eclectic interests. All right. So there we go. <laughs> There's our map. <laughs> There's our map. And let's print it out just to make sure it all works. Sweet, there's our map. So now the next thing we want to do is we want to uh, capture or print out all the values. And so I'm just going to comment that out so we keep our output a little bit clean. And uh, we're going to do a for key value colon equals range over our map. And we're going to get that, all that stuff out. So here we could format print line and we could say, you know, this is, and the key is going to be their name, this is the record for, and then we'll do key, right? And then what we'll do is, for, uh, we'll do another for range. So for index value two, colon equals range, and we're gonna range over this value, which is gonna be that slice of string, right? Because the key, the key is associated with a slice of string. Cool. And we'll put our curly braces in, and then we'll thump print line, uh, and we'll do a tab and then index and value. Format it all and run it. B2 declare to not use. There we go. This is the record for Dr. No being evil, ice cream, sunsets. This is the record for Bond James, shaken, not stirred, martinis, and women. Uh, he is a misogynist. I agree. This is the right, and that's not a good thing. We are all equal. This is a record for uh, Money Penny Miss, but I grew up reading Ian Fleming novels. <laughs> Still a fan of the movies. This is a record for uh, Miss Money Penny, James Bond literature, and computer science. All right, sweet. So that's the example for hands-on exercise number seven. Number eight, hands-on exercise number eight.